Finally. Are you with Grayson Security? I've been trying to get a hold... No. You wouldn't happen to have a helicopter, would you? Of course not. This is private property, but I won't belabor the fact. I'm not particularly attached to it. Who in their right mind would want an abandoned amusement park on a godforsaken island in the Atlantic? Aside from Nathaniel Winter, of course. Yeah, that Nathaniel Winter. Millionaire. Mogul. <laughs> also, as it turns out, theme park tycoon. Nathaniel brought me up here during construction. And even then, there were accidents. Workers falling to their deaths. Equipment malfunctioning as soon as it was turned on. Strange whispers at night, according to the crew, coming from the rides themselves. But he was a stubborn son of a bitch, my father. The park opened against all odds right on schedule. Whole island showed up for the ribbon cutting. But the accidents continued. A roller coaster derailed, killing a family of three. A ten-year-old kid was found, dismembered, behind the cotton candy stand. An employee in a chipmunk costume went berserk, stabbing two teenagers in the eye. By 1980, Nathaniel was forced to shut it all down. There were investigations. It was all over the papers. So he closed up shop. Stayed behind while my mother and I went back to Boston. Never saw the son of a bitch again. I remember Nathaniel telling me once, after the bumper cars crushed one of the engineers, <laughs> that this was all par for the course. Great deeds require great sacrifice, he said. Next time I saw my father, he was in a casket. He outlived everyone and left me nothing of his fortune. Except... Uh, I don't want his money. And I didn't ask for the part, neither. All I want is answers. You can say a lot about Nathaniel Winter, but he never made a bad investment or a rash decision. So why in God's name did he build this park? I've heard them. At night. The rides? They do whisper. James Winter, blah, 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 where is it, where is it? Ah, I leave my masterpiece, the Atlantic Island Park, to be restored according to, according to my original plans? What fucking plans, Dad? 
Uh, how did it go? I don't tell me. I'm not blind or deaf. I don't believe it's a coincidence those things are drawn to the rides. The fog came the day we got here. I was supposed to fly in, but the airport was closed. So we drove all the way up from Portland. Less than an hour later, it rolled in like an avalanche. Wahid here decided to stay in the car. I headed for the highest place I could find. I didn't think of it at the time. What with those animals at my feet. But it's weird that the wheel's still working after all this time. I can't imagine the power's still on. At least not the electrical power. But that's not what this place runs on, is it? He stayed behind, my father. Nathaniel. <laughs> when everyone else left. And not because he didn't have anything else. He had his empire, his money, my mother. He had me. But this is the only thing he wanted. It kept him alive for over a century. It gave him power. I'm still not convinced he's not here. Somewhere, feeding on the ghosts of lost children like some kind of bogeyman. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? This is private property, you know. <laughs> Goodbye.
Окей. Like a bad itch that can't be scratched. You know why I came up here? To sell it all off. The whole park. So that I wouldn't end up like my father. Stuck to this place. There's gravity here. I don't know who they are, but they have money. And ways to convince you that it would be in your best interest to sell. I didn't care. I didn't need to be blackmailed to sign a contract. What in the name of hell do I want an amusement park for? <coughs> but now... Now I couldn't imagine selling. It's got its claws in me like it had my father. And it won't let me go. It owns me. It feeds on me. There's no escape in gravity. Time I've invested in you, I figured you'd come up with something. <coughs> But all you've given me is grief. And now they're coming for me. For whatever dark secrets this tomb holds. They're like you. Special. Part of another world. A secret world. Convinced they run the place. That the rest of us are just... <coughs> shadows. Even if I knew how to escape gravity, even if, even if I wanted to... Something tells me I shouldn't. I don't know what'll happen to this place. And the world, if I do. <laughs> <laughs> 